my dough into the jalapenos. For me, I like a lot of jalapenos. So I'm gonna continue rolling. And once you get into the center, play a little Mario Kart here, push everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and take it and go right in front of my tortilla press. I'm gonna take off a little bench scraper, knock off a section. I'm gonna take the section, put it right into the center, form a little bit of a ball. I'm gonna close down, give it a good press. I'm gonna lift up. So now I have my tortilla. I'm gonna lift up and take this for me. And four, I'm gonna flip this over. Now form my third piece. Here is gonna be the cool part. So I come back in. I got my ribs just a little bit still warm. I'm gonna take my first rib and I'm gonna plant right into the center. Now from here, you got the cheese. We're gonna go with cheese everywhere. Of course, herbs, aka cilantro. I'm gonna compact it just a little bit. We got it, you know it. From here, I'm gonna start putting in the same pattern. And now I need my third one. And I'm doing it with a little hand technique because it's easier to now form right over. And I'm gonna put this one right over the top. Now from here, this looks huge, right? So we're gonna start pushing in and we're gonna start cutting off to make our empanada tequila. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting this off to now start making our empanada tequila thing. I'm gonna start cutting. So what I'll do on the plastic, I'm just gonna continue with the round all the way and cut through the jalapenos and you can reuse this dough, but it's a little simple thing. And this is why I did the other ones because you can use it as a guide. Now you're gonna take off the masa and you're just gonna roll it with the jalapenos and we're gonna use this for later for our next piece. I'm gonna take this off. Now from here, we're gonna reattach everything. Take off the back strip and you can already tell we're just gonna have a huge empanada. Quesadilla tequila. All right, from here, we have the bone sticking out. We have the form that we're going for. And now we just need to finalize everything by giving it a little bit of a push down just to see in the sides. All right, after my last one, now whoo, whoo, take this very slowly, by the way. You're gonna be able to lift up and then go for the short rib empanada challenge quesadilla tortilla. And the bone's just gonna stick out, so while it's frying, just kinda let it have this little day in the sun. Now you're gonna take out, look at this beauty. I'm doing this just so that the bone doesn't fall off because it's gonna be a little bit hot all the way through. All right, I'm gonna place and let this thing, uh, of course, like chill out, but not done yet, need these guys. All right, not done with this recipe quite yet. I'm gonna take this Oaxaca cheese. So this is a, again, a cheese out of Mexico that is the first stringy cheese, and I'm gonna show you why. And it's gonna go for a long, 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 long time. I'm gonna continue doing this for us because it's really, really fun and satisfying. But you can do this as many times as you would like. I'm gonna split this all the way down the center. I'm gonna go right into my flour. Easy thing to do the flouring of cheese. You just wanna make sure everything's coated. From here, I'm gonna start pulling this out. And we're gonna go right into some eggs. And for this little method, the easiest one is just to dip it down like I'm doing here. And then I'm just gonna push. And this is gonna prevent me from having Hulk fingers. So I'm gonna take out a little piece at a time and then go right into the crushed up Doritos. Fold the sack over. All right, give it a good shake. I'm gonna open it up, of course, gotta look at it. And we have the fried, almost, Dorito Oaxaca pieces. Now it'd be simple just to go straight into the hot oil, but for myself, I wanna do something a little bit different. So take yourself a wooden spoon and we're gonna start wrapping around the Doritos with the Oaxaca. And it's gonna go into a spiral pattern, just like this. And here is how easy this is. Push it so it connects. And you're gonna go right over the hot oil. Do it one more time. And then we're just gonna actually let it go. All right, I'm looking at that beautiful golden color, as you can tell. And that's what you're looking for for these. I'm gonna place it right on my sheet and let that cool down. What you do as it cools down, you're gonna take the end of the spoon, you're gonna grab right in the center, and you're just gonna slightly pull out to now have the curl. Oh, that's pretty cute, huh? You can hold it up just like this. So I'm gonna place this on. I'm gonna be using that just a little bit. Do the same exact thing for the next ones. All right, taking out my last. I'm gonna place the curls here and let those rest. Also, I have to my side, I have the crispy Oaxaca uh, mozzarella sticks, aka crispy Oaxaca sticks. Also, I put guacamole on the inside, and this is gonna be a craft flavor, 100%. And why is that? Because we have everything you need. You have your sauces, now you get to do a little bit of a spectacle as well. And what I mean by that, is so that what you'll do, you'll hold, and this is gonna be a little bit hot. If you can see this, you'll hold, and you'll start pulling out the bone. And that's how you know that you cook this thing great. And there you go, guys. You put that right beside it, and everybody knows what has just happened, and you've done a magic thing for each and every one of them.